Ryan here today with another episode of Star Wars Alternate History. Today's episode is about what if someone else was the genetic template for the clone troopers during the Clone Wars. So, let's go into a little background about this so that we can understand what's happening. So, Jango is chosen partially because he's a human-like mercenary. Humans are very important because if Palpatine's going to end up having an empire with these guys, it has to be a human or someone human-like that is a template for the clone troopers because he's prejudiced against aliens. Furthermore, mercenary that is somewhat loyal to his cause and knows how to fight well. The, the qualifications for anyone else would need to be similar. Now, why was Jango chosen? Well, Jango was the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. He was loyal to Count Dooku, who is the person who chose him. He's a mercenary. Not necessarily that being a mercenary is a requirement, but he's a really good fighter. He's a mercenary, and he's human-like. He's a Mandalorian, which Mandalorians are known for fighting. So, he just kind of fits everything. He will be able to keep the secret. And it will be easy to get any payment to him. And he'll stay secretive and whatnot. So, that's why Jango was chosen. Now, could someone else have been chosen? Yeah. In the Legends lore, this isn't official canon, but in Legends, Jango is chosen because... Count Dooku puts a bounty on someone and he was going to choose whoever killed the person who who killed the person he put the bounty on to ask them if they wanted to be put up for the cloning process and be the genetic template. So, either way, whether you follow Legends lore or Count Dooku simply picked someone else for the genetic template, that Sifo-Dyas would hire the Kaminoans to make could have easily happened. So, what would the changes be if clones were someone else? There is no, we don't know exactly who else this could have been. I would easily choose some other bounty hunter, you know, the one that comes to mind off the top of my head that's human-like is Dingar, so it could have been someone like Dingar, Dingar's a Karelian, he's human, so it could have been him, uh, I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head, now, um, you... The point is, it could have been someone else. But if it's someone else, what's going to change? Well, I'll tell you, anything that happens at Order 66 and after, after is unlikely to change. Especially once the clone troopers are being phased out. None of that's going to change. Things aren't going to happen the same way in that respect and whatnot. Now, what is going to change? What's going to change is the clones, clones' attitudes, the clones' feelings, how they respect the Jedi, and that sort of thing. Now, why is this going to change? Well, you have to realize, even though you may be raised a certain way, part of your attitude, part of the way you act, part of this stuff always is encoded in your genes. Therefore, a parent who has a parent who's addicted to ac alcohol and whatnot, their child is more likely to easily become addicted to alcohol or tobacco. It doesn't mean they will, but it means they're more likely. That's one example. They'll also more likely have the same sort of moods and whatnot, even if they're raised under different parents. So if these people, if these clones have the exact same genetic template, 
they're going to react in more of the way of the person they got their genetic template from. So let's say they get it from Dengar. Well, Django, unlike Dengar, I would say is Django is more solitary. He works alone better. Dengar has often worked in groups. He can also work alone. So the clones may be a little bit more responsive groups and whatnot, even though they are really responsive anyways. But Dengar is also more of a sniper character. You could say he... I don't know Dengar's character too well, but the point is, Dengar is different. The clones are going to be responding in the way Dengar would respond to a situation, unlike Django. Now, Dengar wasn't as loyal to the Sith. Now, not that this has anything certain to play with it, but the point is, they knew Django was loyal to Dooku. Dooku's a Sith, so if the clones are based off of Django, they're more likely to be loyal when Order 66 comes. So, you may have more clones that aren't as loyal when Order 66 comes. Now, let's say Django is more responsive to compassion on the battlefield than Dengar. These clones may have a harder time with the Jedi's ideals of compassion, may not get along as well if it if they weren't made from Django. Another reason Django's chosen is he's able to fight off Jedi. Maybe Dengar isn't able to fight Jedi as well. He's slower and whatnot. The clones are more predisposed to this occurring with them as well. So basically Anything that's going to change with the clones is going to be an attitude or maybe their physique in battle a little bit. So this could mean some battles end up a bit differently because you have someone else that they're based off of. Maybe at the Battle of Ryloth you weren't able to get the support of the citizens as easily with clones based off of someone else. Or you were able to get even more support when trying to take back Ryloth. Or when you are, let's say, on Umbara, maybe the person that the clones are based off of are able to see in the dark better. That would come in handy and make them more likely to win the battle. So, again, this could have some changes in how the battles are fought, but the outcome of the Clone Wars of Order 66, everything in the long run, is going to be exactly the same. There are no sureties in what's going to happen. You would be sure that, you know, Captain Rex wouldn't be in acting the same way with Anakin Skywalker. The interactions would be a little different, if not a lot different, all depending on the situation. So, yes, there's going to be differences. The differences aren't going to be big. It's unlikely that a non, an alien would be chosen. So you can rule anything like that out. And as I said, I don't know of any other specific potential candidates for the clones. So I can't go off of any basis like that. I'm simply using Dengar as an example because he's the first human bounty hunter that came to mind. It could have been a human that was out, wasn't a bounty hunter that was chosen or something like that. But the genes are going to be what's the major difference in the clones if is if someone else was chosen. So this is Star Wars Indiana. Thanks to listening to this episode of the Star Wars podcast, Star Wars Alternate History. And please put suggestions in the comments for future videos.